Hey everyone, today we will look at a catch clause and we will check how we can define the type of error and how we can define it in a way that it is an axis error. We can see that this code already attempts to do that. So in the code here, the error is typed as any and then it is checked against a property called is axis error. And when that property exists, the response will be checked the status of the response will be checked and the error will be then casted to an is access error by overwriting the compiler's decision using this type assertion. Now there are a few problems with it. First of all, we can easily have a typo in here, for example, three R's, and we wouldn't get feedback about it. Because the error here is typed as any, which means that all of its properties are also of type any. So if I have a typo in here, it won't be properly recognized, but it will impact our if condition because now this check here no longer gets to the true state and then we will never reach here this if block. The second problem that we have is the assertion here because with this assertion we can get many things wrong as we are leaving the type safety of TypeScript. We are telling TypeScript now, hey, this is an access error, but we can tell TypeScript everything, right? We could tell it, hey, this is a string and then it will believe us that this is a string and ERR will be treated as a string. Same thing here, yeah, as long as we are Going with the type assertions, we will always run into such scenarios. Ah. To improve it, I will first of all change the type of any to unknown, because we can only type errors as any or unknown. And when it is unknown, we will get flagged that TypeScript doesn't know anything about it, so we should help TypeScript with it. The best thing to help here would be using an assertion function, but we can also use a type guard as the access library provides us with a type guard. So let's scroll up to our imports and use a default import to import Axios. So now we have the default import of Axios. That will help us to call it and say, hey, Axios is Axios error, that's the function. And actually it's a type guard function because it has a type predicate. Here you can see payload is Axios error, which is a type predicate. A type predicate always uses an input and then evaluates it against a type. So it has here this syntax with input name, then the is keyword and then the expected type. So we can give it a payload and the payload in our case will be the error. And then it will help us to identify the error because if that function here evaluates to true and uh, whatever its implementation does tells us, hey, that's uh, actually an access error, TypeScript will know that from there on in a certain scope. Meaning that if we cut this and if we create a new if condition, then we can paste that code in here, start some curly braces and get a fully typed error in here with a cause, a request, response, all the things that an access error could potentially have. That is pretty cool. Yeah! Because we have now within that scope here, within the curly braces, the error in the correct type at hand and we don't need to cheat with doing something like this here. Meaning we can uh, remove that uh, here once we use this function. So let's use that function. Let's put it in here. So once this here is true, TypeScript then knows that here on that side already it is an Axios error. Saying that, we can remove our type assertion in here and just rely on the error. Now we would like to also type the response data. And luckily, this is axios function is generic. So if we hop into the definition, we will see that is axios error gives us the option to type something. So let's add angle brackets and put in here the type for our data, which will then give us a response data with the type. Well, that is pretty cool because it will allow us that we can remove also this type assertion here. 
So just take this part of the code, cut it and paste it in here. Well, looks much cleaner now. Let's remove here the template code and uh, be happy with it, yeah? <laughs> Hey, I hope this video was helpful for you and that you can now safely type your Axios errors. And if so, then please subscribe to my channel because this will motivate me to make more of these tutorials. In the next tutorial, we will actually learn how to write a type guard from scratch. I will show you the technique and I will link that video here in the box. So there should be something popping up right now that you can click to continue your journey.